Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and today I have a grocery haul. I do have a several non-food items as well. I went to Costco. We are not utilizing our membership as much as we used to. We're actually not going to renew it whenever it is up for renewal. However, we were close by a Costco today, so we went ahead and decided to get our groceries from here for the week. And of course, we took our time and went through the store since it has been a little bit since we've been in one. So the total was a little over $600, but I will be popping up individual prices so you guys can see what everything costs. So let me go ahead and show you guys. I've got everything out spread out on my dining room table. All right, so here is an overview of everything. And we'll go ahead and start with the non-food items first. As you guys can see here, I've got a lot of clothing pieces going on, but in the very back, we are almost out of a toilet paper. So Charmin is our favorite brand. We went ahead and picked up this pack. There's 30 jumbo rolls in there. Then I am not quite out of Clorox, but I feel like we do have a Sam's membership as well. And Sam's Club is very, very close to where we live, whereas Costco is a little further away. So we definitely are going to Sam's more often. So I am going to have to go in like the next couple weeks to get some other cleaning products, but I didn't think I would make it with our Clorox too. So I did go ahead and pick up the Clorox two for colors. This is the 112.75 ounce container of that almost out of my Neutrogena wipes. This is my favorite makeup remover wipe. It works fantastic on all sorts of mascara, even waterproof mascara. So went ahead and got this. There's 139 plant-based towelettes in this package. I think it has, oh yeah. So there's four 25 count packages. There's 25 single counts. These are perfect for when you are out and about or on the go. And then there's two seven count, which is perfect for travel if you're not gonna be gone for too, too long and you didn't wanna like pack a whole bunch of little singular ones. They have the two seven count, which again, I think is perfect for travel. All right, paper plates. Definitely like to utilize paper plates. There's 186 in here and Dixie is our favorite brand of the paper plates. I have purchased the off brand before, like the Kirkland and what is the off brand members mark? Um, but they didn't have any of those this time. So we would just went with Dixie, which is a really good brand. Got some more dog bones or dog toys for the doggies, mainly just that one right there, Oliver, and this one right here, Buford. <laughs> Our dog Bella does not play with toys much, but I need to start throwing away some of the older ones because they're like getting pieces off of it, which is not good. So um, these are fantastic. These like stick ones, they're great for the dogs and uh, they can't really eat these and swallow these that well. So this is a three pack. It says real bacon infused and it is a bark bone for the toughest chewers, which is definitely what Buford and Oliver are. And then over here, we've got this set of books. So this is a show, The Wheel of Time. Mark and I watched, I think there's just one season out. Um, but there is gonna be another season and we really enjoyed it. So Mark saw that they had the set of books there and he loves to read things like this. I'll let him read it first and then I will work on it maybe, but there's a total of five in here. So there's like this extra a book here and then there's the series right here, one through four of the Wheel of Time. So went ahead and picked that up and then we've got quite a bit of clothes here. So all of my kids, just recently went through growth spurts. My oldest daughter who, my oldest daughter Paige buys her own clothes. I do not pick out her clothes anymore. So if you guys know, you know, we are a family of six, four kids and you see I only bought clothes for three, that's because I know better <laughs> than to buy clothes for my oldest. She likes to pick her own things out. Whereas the younger three, I can still pick their things out and they're pretty happy with what I got. So we'll just start with the boys. Mark picked himself up several, I think five total shirts for work. The clothes, the work tops at Costco and Sam's are fantastic. He loves this like silky like material. It's very breathable, easy to wear, and their prices are fantastic. So he got four of this ML75. It says play dry. Yeah, play dry. So we got four of these. I'll show you the prints. He's got this one, striped, the gray striped, 
and then this red stripe and then the fifth shirt is in a different brand so the price that i'm popping up are for these four and then this one is glacier performance now it does have more of a cotton collar up here but the shirt itself is still that like silky thin very breathable material i love this green color so we got one in this brand and i think this one was a different price so i'm popping that up then for my son bryce with the summer, you know, coming up real, real quick here, it's already getting pretty hot. I got him a two pack of the 32 degrees cool shorts. I love this brand. I just think they, I mean, it almost feels like the shirts that Mark likes to get for work. It's very thin and breathable with the kids running around, you know, playing outside and stuff. These are fantastic. So I did get him this two pack in the black and the gray. I thought that would match with a lot of his tops. And then I went ahead and got their swimsuits for the summer. So I got Bryce a total of four, but that is because it is two, two packs. So I got this Eddie Bauer kids. It does. These are the hybrid shorts, which I got him some of these last year and he absolutely loved them. They're the ones where you can wear, it says go from land to sea. So you can wear this as a just regular pair of shorts, but also he can wear them as swimsuits as well because it does have a mesh lining in here, but it doesn't really feel as you know, like the material of swim swimsuits, it doesn't really feel like that. It's more of a comfortable short. So I did get him this two pack, the one with the camo. And then I think this is just like, yeah, just a solid black. I thought that would be great. So I got him that. And then these are swimsuits. It's a two pack and I got him the, like the black, oh, there's strings all over this one. I'll have to make sure. There's no holes or anything. I think that came off of something else because of the colors, but it says all swim trunks are made from at least 50% recycled fibers, stretch comfort boxer liner, inner adjustable draw string or draw cord, which I absolutely love because he's like in between sizes right now. He's almost as tall as me. He's gonna be, his next growth spurt, he's gonna be as tall, if not taller than me. But I did go ahead and get that. this. It says UPF 50, so this first one, is striped with like the blue and the black and these like palm leaves right here. And then I'll just turn this over. Oh, Gary is the brand. And then the back is just the stripes, more of the blue tones. Does have a pocket. This one has a pocket on the side. This one has a pocket on the back. Does it have a pocket on the side? No, so a pocket in two different locations. But that's the two pack that I got for him. So those are his four swim suits for the summer. And then for the girls, I love when I find, it's very hard. It's like, you know, it was a little hard to find the longer shorts, but I definitely prefer the longer shorts for my girls, especially because school is still in session while they're going to school at home. I don't mind so much um, this, the length of their shorts just because they're in the house in the backyard, but when they're out and about, I like them to wear these longer ones. So I did get Rose a pair a rose and pearl each the same pair but they're different sizes so this one's for rose again you can see here how long it goes these are super they almost feel like leggings the goss is the brand and it does have a drawstring as well to tie them off if they need to there's no like drawstring or the inside where you can make them tighter but they each got the same exact one and then I also found this Eddie Bauer kids, girls, three piece active set. They love wearing things like that. It's just easy um, and nice and comfortable for them with just a t-shirt. So I love this because they don't have any kind of like skirt, like a tennis skirt. And that's what sold me on this. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. So this set is for Rose. I got like the purpley colors for her. So here's the skirt and it does have the shorts. So it's a skirt. Then it comes with the longer, like the bike shorts, but they're leggings. And then the third piece is, oh, I have them pulled up a little bit, but it's an actual set of leggings. And it's like this galaxy purple and turquoise print. So I got this one for Rose. And then same thing, the Eddie Bauer, just in a different size for Pearl, comes with the skort and this turquoise color, the bike shorts in a hot pink, and then the leggings are in like a mermaid print. So it's got the scales all over it. So I did get that one for her. Now we're getting into swimsuits. So they have, I don't even know, 
three-ish swimsuits here because there's like a four piece where they can mix and match. So I am gonna end up getting them one more swimsuit and that's gonna be a full piece. They can pick that out um, with me either on Amazon or we'll go to Target or something for that just so they have one full piece. But this is a three piece swim set and it is the top. It's like a tankini almost looks like a workout shirt. It does have this little zipper here, but there's material there. So you're not gonna see skin if they zip this down, which I really, really appreciated. This is the Gary as well. It does have the little bikini bottom here, but it comes with a pair of shorts. So these are great when you're like at a resort or somewhere where there's a swim park, they can wear these kind of covering up a little bit while they're walking around and then just take these off or keep them on even. They're, they're an, you know, like a swimsuit material when they are in the water. So this is the set that I got for Rose. And then I got the bright with the turquoise set for Pearl. It is a little bit different. So this one doesn't have the zipper. It's just a, like a tankini top, the bottoms, and then the shorts have this little feminine scallop detail on the bottom. So that's what I got for Pearl. And then this one I thought was really cool. So Eddie Bauer, this is a four piece swimsuit or swim set. So they can mix and match and two pieces, two of the pieces are reversible. So this is the one that I picked out for Rose. She loves rainbows and I love the stripes. It just reminded me of a rainbow, even though these are more like pastel colors. So it's got like the sports look. It is a bikini. So it's got the sports top look. This is reversible. It's got confetti on the other side. Then it does come with a swim short instead of just the bikini bottom. She can wear the shorts, which I really, really love. The bikini bottom is reversible as well. So she can wear the stripes or the confetti just like the top. And then it does come, let me flip it over to show you guys, with a rash guard. So if we are like out in the sun for a long period of time. She can put this over it and doesn't have to worry about getting, you know, those shoulders sunburn or anything like that. So I went ahead and picked this up. I loved this four piece. I just thought that was really cool that they could mix and match. And then this is same exact pieces, but this is the colors that I picked out for Pearl. So like this dark navy blue and lilac purple. So we got the sports top with the confetti that she can reverse it to. The shorts are the confetti, and then the bikini is the solid purple, or it is reversible, and then the rash guard is the like turquoise blue with the navy blue that she can wear on top of it, and it kind of shows you with the reversible pieces up here with the rash guard and the shorts on, but the shorts aren't just like cover shorts. They are actual swim shorts they have the little like the underwear piece in here that they can wear so i really really love this four piece i thought that was great i can't wait for the girls to be able to wear these we have a couple fun things planned this summer so we're definitely going to need some different sets of swimsuits going on all right so we definitely spent some money on clothes this time <laughs> that doesn't happen all the time but with you know mark being with me and him you know, restocking his work wardrobe, at least the tops, and then the kids transitioning into not only a new season, but new sizes. They all just went through growth spurts. So we are pretty stocked on a few things there. I think that's it for the non-food. Now let's get into the food items. So I've got a couple freezer items right here. These are tried and trues. I've picked these up several times. I think Sam's carries these same exact ones, the chicken melts. There's 15 individually wrapped in here, and all it is, it's a flat bread pocket with a piece of cheese and a little piece of breaded chicken in there. And the kids absolutely love these. They are super easy to heat up for either packing in a lunchbox, which is rare. They like to eat at the school versus taking in a lunch, but on the weekends after school snacks, that's when these get eaten. I have picked these up before and my daughter Paige and I really, really enjoy them. They're so good and they last forever because there's 10 in here. This is the actual size. Like they are pretty long, but they're thin. They are Mediterranean flatbread margarita pizzas and they taste super, super yummy. They're so good. It's got a whole bunch of cheese and seasonings in here, a little bit of pasta sauce, and then some 
tomatoes in there as well. Super yummy. And then the last freezer item that I picked up, these are very similar to the bacon Gouda sandwiches that you can get from Starbucks. My kids love them. So I just picked this up as a quick breakfast option. It is, there's eight individually wrapped in here. They are microwavable, which is perfect for those busy school mornings. We only have a couple weeks left, so it's gonna be great. It is a ciabatta roll with a cage-free egg, Gouda cheese and some bacon. I know they're going to love that. Okay, back over here before I forget anything. This was actually a sample and it sold me on it. I know we've picked things up like this before, but it was super, super yummy. We went at lunchtime before we ate, which was awful, but I don't think we did bad for going um, when we were both hungry. But these are Brookside dark chocolate, acai and blueberry flavor. The daring ball of smooth dark chocolate with a fruit flavored center. This is a 32 ounce package, no artificial flavors, no artificial colors. Went ahead and got that. And then my husband loves macadamia nuts and he is almost out so we did go ahead and restock him on those Kirkland signature dry roasted and macadamia nuts with sea salt this is a 24 ounce package and then I I feel like there used to be a mix that I would buy a long long time ago and it had Brazil nuts in it so I just saw these and I was like I'm gonna pick these up I hope I still love love them but it is a delicious snack grown in the wilds of the Amazon rainforest and this is one and a half pound bag of organic whole brazil nuts so i'm going to give those a try i might like make myself a little snacky mix with the dark chocolate blueberry flavor the nuts and then i also got these because i do find that during the week while the kids are at school especially the days where i'm like in the office for long periods of time i don't really eat meals i snack and I snack on the kids stuff and that's not the best. So I was just trying to pick me up just a few things that are better, you know? So this is the Tillamook Zero Sugar Original Beef Jerky and there's two six ounce packages in here. So again, I just got this for snacking, it says 14 grams of protein per serving. So there's like our little snacky section right there. We love to pick up this fully cooked bacon. It's fantastic. Um, whether it's on a school morning, quick and easy, it's microwavable, or on the weekend just to add to anything that we do cook. This is hickory wood smoked, 48 to 50 slices, and fantastic, super, super yummy. All right, this is something that, what, it used to come in a box. I don't know what Sam's does, if they've changed their packaging. I actually prefer this because I can see the eggs. But this is five dozen eggs, and the last time I picked up a box of five dozen eggs, it was between 13 and $15, so this price actually went down, which is fantastic. You used to be able to pick it up for just under $6. So it's definitely still more expensive, but the price has gone down a little bit, which is a fantastic. So these are the cage-free, five dozen eggs. And again, I like that I could actually see them so I could make sure I wasn't getting any that were cracked. It does take us a little while to go through those eggs, but I like to have plenty of eggs on hand because as a family of six, if we're like doing scrambled eggs on the weekend in the morning, we go through a dozen real quick just with that one breakfast. Okay, this was a fun find. So donut cocoa bombs with marshmallows. How cute is that? And they are flavored, so they're not all just chocolate. So there's 12 total. There's three strawberry chocolate, three double chocolate, three cookies and cream, and then three chocolate caramel. I don't, they don't look like they're, oh, you know what? I bet, <laughs> I was about to say, they're not labeled for the flavors, but I bet these are the three strawberry. This has like a caramel looking drizzle on it, so I bet that's the caramel. I'm gonna guess this is the cookies and cream because it looks like an Oreo. And then these ones are probably the double chocolate because it's got the white chocolate and then the regular chocolate. That's my guess, but they are not labeled, at least like on the outside of the package. Maybe I should look on the back no not labeled on the back but it does tell you you can just put one cocoa bomb in a mug and then pour boiled milk over top oh yeah it says right here it's got it's got them right here <laughs> so there we go i was right i didn't even see that anyway went ahead and picked these up i thought these would be fun typically my kids are like all about hot chocolate during like the colder months but um, I do think those would be fun to have over this summer as well when, you know, more kids are in and out of the house and sleepovers happen and all of that. They got more free time. 
I thought that would be something nice to have on hand. Okay, we'll continue in the back and then like end with the, like on the healthier note, right? So I went ahead, sometimes I get like the mixed bags of chips and stuff for the kids, but they really enjoy Pringles and I don't pick up Pringles that often. So this kind of just caught my eye and I was like, yeah, it's gonna happen. So there's 36 cans in here, but they're like the little grab and go, like the personal size cans of Pringles. There's 12 cheddar cheese, 12 original, and then 12 sour cream and onion. Those really won't last that long though. Once the kids see that I brought those home, they're gonna be taking them in every single day until they're gone. This is something that's kind of a staple, whether I'm getting them at Sam's Club or Costco. I love to have spaghetti or marinara sauce in the pantry. Just makes for a quick, easy dinner on those nights where I need a quick, easy dinner, you know? And spaghetti is one of those quick, easy dinners. So having this on hand all the time definitely helps out. There's two that come in like together and they're both 28 ounces. So went ahead and picked that up. This was something new that I eyed and I was like, oh, that would be nice to have on hand for whenever my friend Kira and I get together next. It is a like an already made mimosa. So this is blood orange mimosa. I don't think it tells me, yeah, it doesn't like tell me a whole lot on this bottle, but they had like a little paper or whatever that said all sorts of stuff about this. And I was like, oh, that sounds really, really yummy. So went ahead and picked that up. Uh, this is one of my go-to like cereals. I love it. I go through phases where I like to eat cereal all the time and then other phases where I don't like breakfast at all. I just wait until lunch. I also like, I need to make a little note because I always forget about the brand, but I get it from Thrive Market. I think it's sold at Target as well, but there's another cereal that I like also. This one just has more like nuts and stuff in it, whereas the other one is definitely more of a cereal, a softer cereal. This one is a little hard when you're crunching on it because it has a whole bunch of just real ingredients in it, but it's called Morning Summit. Lightly sweetened maple berry blend cereal made with almonds, cereal flakes, pumpkin seeds, dried cranberries, and dried cherries. And it says almonds are the first ingredient and it does have a ton of almonds in it where that's where you get like the crunch. It's a harder cereal. So I really enjoyed that, picked that up. We were gonna pick up the tilapia, which we have picked up before, but Mark saw that they had some cod there and he wanted to try this out. So this is the everything crusted cod, lightly breaded fillets. I think what we read is there's six in here. So this will just be one quick, easy dinner for us one night. So we're gonna go ahead and give those a try. Oh, this is frozen too. I showed you guys, I did not uh, separate that correctly, but whatever, <laughs> we went ahead and got that. One thing that my daughter Paige asked for is corn tortillas. So I just went ahead and picked up the big pack and we'll just right away put half of these in the freezer. There's two 55 counts in here. They are super tiny, but this will be good for like, if we wanted to do maybe fish tacos or something, have these little corn tortillas for that as well. So went ahead and got those. And then now we're coming into some of the produce. This was kind of just like, I don't know, all of our dinners, we have stuff, we have pretty stocked freezers and there's lots of stuff in the pantry. So we didn't really need a whole lot for like meals this week, just kind of fill-ins. And like I said, we hadn't been to Costco in a while. So we picked up some extra stuff, but here's what I did bring home produce wise. So it is starting to become a watermelon season. We had one, a family member brought one to Easter and it was super yummy. So I was like, okay, since I know that we can find ripe watermelons now, I'm gonna pick one up and hopefully it's good because my kids love watermelon. So went ahead and got a watermelon. I made Joanna Gaines blueberry muffins a couple weeks ago and everybody in the house absolutely loved them. And I'm a huge fan of blueberries. Again, just making myself some little snacky like trays this week for lunch, just kind of snacking for lunch. I went ahead and got some blueberries. Driscoll's is one of my favorite brands. I think they have great produce. So I'm gonna put half of this package or like one cup, I'm gonna measure it out into the freezer because it definitely works better if you use frozen blueberries. Those are gonna be for the muffins. I'm gonna make those again, and then the rest are just gonna be for snacking on. Sticking with the Driscolls, I got some strawberries. Oh, this is an 18 ounce package of blueberries. 32 ounce of strawberries. Mark and Bryce are like the two huge strawberry eaters in the house. They could eat this whole thing in one sitting if I just set them down with this. So definitely need to have strawberries in the house all the time. My daughter Rose loves pineapple. So I did go ahead and pick up another pineapple. I think we got one, was it last week or the week before? But the girls really love the pineapple. So we got that. 
cucumbers. Normally I get like the English cucumbers, but this week we still have one left over from last week. So I'm gonna throw that in a salad for dinner one night. But so I went ahead and got these ones instead, these little snacking cucumbers. And these are the, seed, or yeah, snacking seedless. I was gonna say seedless. Seedless cucumbers, greenhouse grown, and these are super crunchy. These are like really, really good. So went ahead and got that just for a snacking on this week. The tomatoes, half of this will go in a salad with a dinner one night, and then the other half, the kids will just snack on all week long. Really, they won't even last a week, just a few days. Um, but definitely, this is a staple. Have to have that in the house all the time. And then I went ahead and got raspberries also. I love raspberries, they're one of my favorites. Again, with the Driscoll's, this is a 12 ounce package. And then let's finish off with the produce. I got some avocados. I need some for our taco Tuesday. But I kind of got the big bag because Mark and Paige like avocados as well. And these will last a couple weeks as long as we pay attention to them. And then I got some really green bananas. I was hoping to find some yellow ones because I want to cook with some, but there were no yellow ones. So I might run into another store. These will last us towards the end of the week and we'll just eat on these, but I wanna cook with some. So I might have to run in, I have to run in somewhere anyway for one gallon of milk. They sell it in a two pack at Costco, whereas Sam's you can buy them one gallon at a time. And we still have a little bit of milk from last week. So I didn't want to buy a two gallon. So I just need one. Um, so I have to run into the store anyway. So I need a gallon of milk and I need to find some yellow bananas so I can cook with them. But all right, that ends out the produce. Coming right here, the girls do have a friend spending the night and this weekend, this is a Saturday when I'm filming this. I know you guys aren't seeing it until Tuesday, but the girls are having somebody spend the night tonight and I thought it would be fun for them to have something different for breakfast. So I saw these danishes. We have picked them up before. They're huge. I'll cut them in half for the girls. Um, and then I'm gonna set out some fruit. We'll cook up some bacon and that'll just be a quick Sunday morning breakfast. But this is, you get a two, like you get two two packs for whatever price I have up on the screen and each two pack comes with four and they are huge. I wish they had like a variety because they have four different kinds in total. They had an almond one and they had an apple one. Those are two we did not pick up. We got the cherry filled, which is what Mark picked out. And then I'm a huge fan of cream cheese danishes. So I got the cream cheese ones, but again, that'll just be for breakfast. Then I got some cottage cheese. I've got some fruit in the pantry that I want to snack on this week as well. And I like to mix the fruit in the cottage cheese. So I got that. And then I got one block of cheese to shred up for a couple different recipes for this week. We're almost out of our shredded cheese or the, sh the cheese that I shredded up. I think I did that in the last meal prep video I shared. So definitely needed some more. And I just got the sharp cheddar cheese because it was the cheapest. Really, we don't care. Cheese is cheese in our opinion when it comes to like mild, sharp, and the Colby Jack, it all tastes good. But I think that is it. I don't think I forgot anything, but that's everything that we got from Costco. It's few and far in between when we go to Costco uh, before our membership runs out. I think in August, I think we have the membership until August. So we'll definitely go back maybe one more time, but that's it for this trip. Okay, I am including my little Walmart delivery as well. I added in some extra items outside of what I needed for this week. And I do have a couple things coming in the mail. I wanted some queso for our Taco Tuesday. That's being delivered tomorrow. I feel like there's something else. There's a can, another can of a type of beans. That's actually not gonna be until Friday. So I was going to make like a beef and bean dinner tonight. It's all kind of like an easy toss and go into the crock pot, but we're gonna have that either Friday or Saturday now. And then I feel like, oh, and then some lemon juice. Paige, my oldest requested lime juice and lemon juice and the lemon juice is going to be delivered tomorrow. So this is everything that I got delivered from Walmart. I will pop up prices. We'll start over here with the freezer section. I got some more breakfast items. Bryce has just been like loving eating breakfast and he is obsessed right now with like burritos and sandwiches and that kind of thing. So I just went ahead and stocked up. So we've got plenty. He did specifically ask for these chicken and biscuits or buttermilk biscuit sandwiches. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the same brand that we have picked up in the past and he loved it. We got it a couple weeks ago 
and we are already out. He eats two at a time. They are snack size. They're very, very tiny. There's 18 total in here. So he specifically requested these. And when I didn't find them at Costco, I knew I needed to get them from Walmart. And then he does like burritos. Well, and he's not the only one. Everybody in the house loves breakfast burritos. So whenever you check out at Walmart, they will like pop up things that you've purchased in the past or things that, you know, they're trying to get you to add more to your cart. Well, they totally got me on these two items. So because I bought that, they like showed me some other freezer things that I had purchased in the past. So I picked these up before. I went ahead and add, added them as well. This is a big pack. I think normally I get like the six or maybe eight pack. This one just seems really big to me for some reason, but there's 12 in here. So we are set as far as like breakfast goes. We are going to have breakfast for dinner one night this week as well, just to help, you know, keep going through everything that we have in our freezer. But these are the El Monterey egg, applewood smoked bacon, and cheese burritos. And then we don't have any like pizza rolls or we're really low on like lunch items in the pantry and freezer. So I just went ahead and grabbed this and added this to my cart so we can have it this weekend. You guys, there's only three weeks left of school. That is crazy. Summer is knocking on our door right around the corner. Um, but I did go ahead. I don't know what that has to do with pizza rolls, but I was just like, you know what? Our weekends, I don't know. I guess I'm going to be picking up more like quick, easy things during the summertime for the kids. Cause we're going to be like on the go. We have a lot of things planned. Maybe that's where my mind was going when I was reading pizza rolls, but I did go ahead and put these in the cart for just a quick, easy lunch this weekend. There's 50 in here and I will make this like a whole bag and we'll all eat it as one lunch, especially if there's like extra kiddos or over or anything like that. And combination is my kid's favorite. I think it's like pepperoni, pepperoni sausage and cheese in the combination one. Okay, this was totally my bad. I meant to get two different types of chips and I mean I did, but I was not paying attention and I thought this was a regular size, not a snack size. <laughs> That's okay though <laughs> for our taco Tuesday. These just sounded good to me. So I'm going to eat these ones. Everybody else is going to have those, but I did mean to have like enough of two different types of chips. So it'll like definitely go into next week and all of that, but oh well, <laughs> got the snack size bag of the late July sea salt multigrain tortilla chips. It has chia flax, millet, quinoa, and amaranth in here. So I went ahead and got that. That just sounded good. And then this is what my kids like. They like the scoops when we have like salsa and like I mentioned, queso is coming in the mail tomorrow uh, or being delivered by Walmart tomorrow. So we'll have, you know, salsa and queso with our Taco Tuesday this week, but they do like the scoops. They like to like scoop up everything. So I got the party size. That way, again, it lasts us into next week and maybe even the following week. So we can just keep up with our Taco Tuesday theme, nice, easy dinner ideas. I am out of my little Premier Protein Shakes. I like to add these to my coffee in the morning if I'm not going to be eating anything. I just really, really like them. Keeps me full until lunch. Sometimes I don't eat lunch until like after about one o'clock when I pick up my daughter from work. So sometimes I have to, you know, find ways to keep me full longer first thing in the morning. But I did, while I was at Costco, I did look for the other ones. Is Fairlife the one that everybody was recommending to me? I did see them, but I didn't, I just didn't want to have that many on hand. So I just went ahead and picked up a four count of the caramel. I tried to get the cafe latte ones. Those are my absolute favorite. They're like a coffee flavored. They just go really good with coffee, but they said that they did not have them available. They tried to substitute me a chocolate one. I'm not a fan of chocolate in drinks. So I said no to that, but they did have the caramel one. So um, this is my second favorite one. And that is a four pack. All right. So before I forget the salsa, this is a salsa. I picked up the fresh cravings salsa in the mild restaurant style went ahead and got that to go on the side of a dinner then i went ahead and picked up a couple more breakfast items for me i got the chobani flip salted caramel crunch this is one of my favorites i had another one in my cart but they did say that they couldn't find it so i just said don't you know don't substitute it i don't i don't need another one so i've just got one of these and then i got two of the just crack and egg scramble kits this one is the protein packed i got this one in case mark wants it for breakfast either like a quick breakfast on the go he's been going into work pretty early lately so went ahead and got this one it has 
pork, a sausage, bacon, sharp cheddar cheese, and you add your own egg. I always add two eggs. It says to add one, but I add two. I think it tastes really good with two. And then this one is one of my favorites, the potato cheese and bacon one. It's called the All American Scramble Kit. So I got those for breakfast options. Two onions for dinners this week. The unsalted beef broth is something that I add into the dog food because our youngest dog, Oliver, is super, super picky. <laughs> so he really likes some kind of broth on his food. So I picked that up for him. Here's the lime juice. Again, the lemon juice is being delivered tomorrow, but I got the lime juice. I'm not quite sure. I didn't ask her what she needed it for. If it, She's just adding it to her waters because Mark likes to do that. He uses lime juice and lemon juice as well, um, or if she had something in mind for it. So went ahead and got that for her. And then as far as cans are concerned, I got these three cans. They are all for one dinner, which as I mentioned, we're now having on Friday or Saturday, depending on what time the last can that I need <laughs> is delivered. But I got a can of light red kidney beans, the great value, which is Walmart's brand. I got some large butter beans in Bush's Best, and then I got some lima beans in the Del Monte. So that'll all be for one just quick, like I said, dump and go dinner, which I did plan on making today. <laughs> but I can't, but that's okay. We will still have it this week. So that's just, that's it for everything that I had delivered from Walmart. Oh, I did, I opted not to get any milk because I do feel like we'll be fine until next week. I was gonna get one since I didn't get any at Costco, but we still have one from last week, um, almost a full one. So I was like, eh, we'll probably run out towards the end of the week and maybe I'll just go to the store Friday, maybe like late Thursday or Friday to get everything for next week and Mother's Day. I have no idea what we have planned for that. But anyway, that's everything that I got from Walmart. And obviously it's a different day that I had Walmart delivered. So I look a little different from when I started this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed the grocery haul this week, the Costco haul, which I said is like few and far between now until our membership runs out. And then I needed to get just a few things that I couldn't get at Costco that I wanted to have on hand for this week from Walmart delivered. So if you guys like grocery hauls, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you are new. I do share some sort of grocery haul about once a week. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.